The Tommy and Trap Man's Adventures of Thomas the Tank Engine, Episode 71, James to the Rescue. It was a busy day on the island of Sodor. All the engines were working harder than ever before, pulling patterns of freight and make sure that anything runs like clockwork. Meanwhile, back at Tim and Shed's, James had nothing to do. Just then, the top of had arrived. James, I heard that the so certain Reggie Center needs some assistance of a substitute. Apparently, there's nobody else available. I thought you'd be opportunity to take for the job. James was delighted. Oh, so I'd love to do it, but I'm not sure if the win gets to do it. Don't worry, said the topman hat. Everything will be okay. Just look into Flynn and he will tell you what to do. Oh, yes, sir. I will give this a try. So Jane left for the Sodor Certain Refuge Center. At the Sodor Certain Refuge Center, James arrived. Here's James. Flynn was delighted to see James. Ah, oh, James, said Flynn. Are you ready to help out on Soda Rescues? I sure am. A splendid red in it is always there to help. Well, I'm glad you're here, said Flynn. Now, whenever you hear the alarm, that means there's an emergency. Got it. How long would that would take? Well, I'm not sure. Everything on Sora could run like clockwork, but sometimes we don't know what happened. There could be a fire, a derailment, who knows? Well, what should I do in the meantime? I'm not sure. We just wait for nothing. Well, we could just talk here. Talk? said James. I don't want to wait. I'm sorry, good to all things should wait. Now you excuse me, said Flynn. I must go to rest. Flynn went up away to rest in a siding. All James could do was nothing but to wait. Two hours went by, and James felt so bored. James felt like he had nothing fun else to do. Just then, James heard a bell. He knew that familiar bell from anywhere. It was none other than Toby the tram engine. He got released from the steamworks. Toby, said James, I've not seen you in like almost in weeks. What happened to you? Well, said Toby, well apparently, while me and Emily were helping out with the court duties while Mavis was away, well technically I break down. Luckily, Emily was there to save me when I broke my safety valve. Luckily, I was there for almost two weeks. And apparently, I'm back out on the tracks again. That's good, said James. Where are you heading? Oh, I'm just heading just to Brenham Docks. What about you? Well, good news, Toby. I am the certain certain where to engine for today. But... Not a single emergency has happened yet. That's okay, said Toby. Well, all you have to do is just wait. Wait? I don't want to wait. I want something to find out to do in the meantime. Hey, what about I help you? I could be the fun while you push from behind. No, James, said Toby. This is my job. Your job is right here. Well... I have more important things to do than to argue here all day. I don't want to start anything. And Toby left. This makes James very cross. Another hour went by. James could do nothing. All he could do was to walk the other train slip like right past him. He was getting to feel more border and border by every minute and every hour.
then James had an idea. I know what I should do, he said to himself. If I leave the Soto Sotoweki Center, maybe I might find someone who needs some help. That's what I should do. So James chop away out from the Soto Sotoweki Center. So James went off to find someone who needs some help. I can do this, he said. I will make sure that someone would need some help from me. After all, I am James the Rescue Engine. Just then, he heard a whistle. Oh great, here we go again. It was none other than Spencer the Silver Show Off. He was pulling the Duke and Duck to the Foxford. Well there, James. I have not seen you in quite a while. What are you doing? Oh, I just trying to be a rescue engine. So that I'm starting to for the Soda Sir and Reggie Center for the day. What are you doing here, Spencer? Ha 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 ha. Me, he said. Oh, I'm just taking the Duke and Duck around for a summer house. Because after this, they are more for some important business to attend to. Oh, um, Spencer, what asked you this? Do you need any help? Pa, said Spencer. What a preposterous idea. I don't need any help on my silly red show off. Hey, that's not nice. You want a silver show off. Besides, don't you need help every once in a while? I wish, but guess what? I don't need any help. Now you excuse me, I'll be on my way. Some kind of silly rescue ending you are, James. Spencer seemed smugly away. This made James a bit too sad. Later on that day, James was feeling very sad. No one needs my rescue after all. First it was Toby, then it was Spencer. But Spencer was so rude. Sometimes with Spencer should never come to our railway. He's not but a simple boss for sure. Just then, Emily chopped the size James. She see that James was very sad. James, what's the matter? She asked. Well, Emily, it's just Spencer. So today, I became a subject to Emily to help out the service at the refugee center. And it's almost like nobody needs my help. So I waited patiently for three hours, then decided to sow and see to see that anyone needs my help. But apparently, Spencer think that I'm useless. Nobody would want to need my help, and I'm sad about it. Ah, oh, don't be sad about that, James, said Emily. Besides, all Spencer let it do is show up. He's full of himself. Don't listen to what he says. Believe what you said. Believe in your heart. You know what, Emily? You are right. I mean, look what happened when Edward tried to beat Spencer in a race. Spencer wanted to prove that he wanted to win. We thought that Edward was going to let us down. Apparently, Edward won. Same thing to Toby earlier. I'm surprised Toby was the one who won life from last year. I was surprised about that too. Now, you excuse me, I must go and finish pulling my freight chain. See you, Emily, said James. Emily chucked seemingly away with her trucks. You know what? Maybe there's a brighter at this after all. Maybe I can make myself really useful. Let's go and find out. James jumped away in a pretty happy mood. James the Red Engine worked hard all day without rest. Then, near the late afternoon, I was heading back to the south and to the west of the farm for Flynn. He noticed there was something blocking his way. W what's going on? Then Jane realized something. It was Spencer. He was stuck out on the sweating tracks. Spencer, asked James in shock. W what happened to you? I... I kind of, uh, ran out of coal, and now this is what happened. 
I should have taken more coal before I left to take the Duke and Duchess. Well, it serves you right anyway. You did say I was useless, but... What are you gonna do now? What I could do now? I could do nothing. Just then, Spencer and James heard a whistle. It was Gordon from the by with the Express. Oh no, said James. It's Gordon. He's gonna find us down with the express. If he finds us down with the express, then you will and Gordon have a derailment. Well, look like there's no way nothing left to do. Go, James. Go save yourself. No, not unless I get you back to safety. He charged over the coach. He was buffed off. And he pulled Spencer in the coat with all his might. And with a huge effort, put Spencer across the tracks. Just in time. Spencer was relief. Thanks. We did it. No, said James. I did it. So you should be thanking me. Well, I guess I owe you an apology. Well, where are you going now anyway? Well, I'm heading to Napa Station. Oh, that's where I'm going too. Let me borrow out in front of you so that way I can take you to get you some more coal. Later on, when they got back to Napa Station, Sir Tom and Hat was waiting for them. Flynn was waiting too. Oh no said James to himself. What if Flynn find out I ran away from the Sword and Sword Wedding Center? And what did the, the Top and Hat would say? But the Top and Hat was not cross, neither was Flynn. James, I saw you and Gordon express that you saved Spencer from an accident from Gordon. Well done. You are quite the resident after all. James smiled. Oh, thank you, sir, he said. I... I kind of let Spencer have it to run with Gordon, can't I? Well, you abandoned my express for being late. Thanks to you, James, you are quite the hero. And James, I heard what, what happened, and I'm not mad at you, but next time when an emergency happens, you must wait for your alarm, okay? Okay, Flynn, I'll wait for now on. You know, I hate being patient. That's the spirit. And as for you, Spencer, I also heard what you said to James. You own James an apology. <sighs> Fine. James, I ain't quite sorry what I said to you earlier just now. I just think that you cannot be really useful a resident because you just like to show off. I, I hope you can't forgive me. Hmm. Well, a party accepted, Spencer. Spencer couldn't help it but smile. You know, James, you're quite the very useful engine after all, after you saved me. Yeah, we are very really useful. That's right, Sir Flynn. So three cheers for James the Red Engine, our hero. Hip hip, hooray! Hip hip, hooray! Oh, thank you, you guys, said James. Being our hero, well, it's... Jake could smile happily and everybody just laughed.